uh, international law has always been a very important debatable issue amongst Jewish thinkers and scholars all around the world. Uh, in case of India, there is a problem that there are many students who are not so well versed in international law. Uh, I know many of my friends, colleagues who were not taught well international law by the Indian professors because we have been more traditional approach in uh, giving more thrust on um, procedural law, substantive laws and of course the almighty constitution. And in that way, in our approach in legal education, we have uh, at many junctures uh, avoided or not laid much stress on international law. And even now there are many students who have uh, read international law in their graduation law courses, but they are not so clear about the theories and doctrines about it. So this certification course on international law that we've come up with is very important for all the students who are intrigued in knowing the um, basic elements, the concepts, the theories, the case laws in international law. Uh, this is important uh, for your, if you're pursuing your course in law, if you're already graduating or pursuing your element in international law, then of course there's a basic course for you all. Secondly, if there is any student who aspires to go on a scholarship abroad for pursuing his or her LLM in international law or in human rights, he must know what exactly is the uh, international law, the, the approaches to it, theories relating to it. And this course will be beneficial for those who are applying for Commonwealth Scholarship, Chevron Scholarship or any other kind of scholarship that MHRD offers. Thirdly, uh, this course will also be important for the students who are trying to get in their, to get their internship in Ministry of Law and External Affairs uh, because in order to intern or get a, a placement in Ministry of Law and um, External Affairs, you need to have basic understanding of international law and international politics so that you, you are able to work there. Uh, also, fourthly, if anyone wants to uh, later on intern during his, uh, um, the, uh, during his graduation or later on if he, want, he wants to work as a volunteer in uh, United Nations High Commission for Refugees, uh, the New Delhi based office or any other office abroad or United Nations High Commission for Human Rights, New Delhi or any other place or United uh, Nations uh, Commission for Women. These all institutions relating to United Nations or maybe International Red Cross Society, they all function on one or the other aspect of international law. So any student of law who needs to get internship at these places, you have to have a basic understanding of what exactly is international law about, the cases, the clash between the countries, little bit about international history, little bit about international politics. So be able to go and sit there for an interview or to go and intern there and contribute your bit to such institutions.